What do you want? How often are you asking yourself that question? What do I want? What do you want is one of the key questions that I ask my clients when we first start working together. And you'd think it was an easy one to answer, but it's actually really, really difficult. Because you see, we go through life thinking that we're doing the things that we want to be doing. But most of the time, the stuff that we're doing is the stuff that society has told us to do. And then we get to a point where we're like, hang on a minute, this doesn't feel right, or I want more, and then you get more, and then that's not satisfying, and then you're like, what else is there? What's going on? You're not asking yourself one question. What do I want? There is gonna be some really easy tips in this video to help you discover what it is you want right now. Whatever is making you feel stuck, whatever is making you feel like you're at some sort of crossroads or a transition, but you can't quite get to the other side, I'm gonna help you today uncover what that could possibly be because i don't know right you've got the answers hello i'm Pooja, and i coach you to get to know your true self better so that you can live with more calm ease time and fulfillment through simple and powerful self-development thank you so much for being here today welcome to this video and let's get to it so this question, what do I want? I know it can be overwhelming because when I ask a new client this question, sometimes I'm met with tears. Like they haven't asked themselves that question in forever. And it might be the first time they're being asked as an adult, because let's be realistic. The last time we were probably all asked, what do you want? Was when we were kids, right? When we were being taken care of. So as we go through life and we're not asking ourselves that question and nobody else is asking us that question, we kind of just do the things that we're supposed to do. But what that leads to is this kind of feeling of, why don't I feel content? Why don't I feel happy? Why am I not satisfied with this incredible life that I've actually created? Because you could look on paper at your actual life and it probably looks absolutely amazing. But the way you feel about it isn't matching up. Now there's a clue there, feel. How does it feel? With the whole question of what do I want, we've also got to attribute a feeling to that thing that we want, to the person that we want, to the status that we want, whatever it is that we are working towards in our lives, we have to actually attribute a feeling to it. Because if you don't attribute a feeling, you'll never know when you've actually got there. So a lot of us who have achieved lots of milestones, got the house, got the career, got the education, maybe even the partner and the kids, are sort of sitting now looking at life going, okay, well, that was nice. Is this it? And this is this it moment I'm obviously in love with because I love working with clients at this point because it's almost like we get to press the reset button on your life and that oh, it excites me. Now I pressed the reset button on my life many years ago when I had a breakdown which was diagnosed as depression and burnout. Now I am not advocating for rock bottom but generally when we hit rock bottom that's when we get the opportunity to make a choice to change. Some of us make the choice to change, some of us don't. So for those of you who are feeling that, not necessarily rock bottom, but that kind of feeling of, I'm stuck, I want more, I don't know what more is, I don't know what it looks like, this video really is for you. What I want you to do, quite simply, this is a very simple exercise, the first thing I want you to do is, pause the video in a few seconds, and just close your eyes and imagine what your ideal average day could look like. Not your ideal day, right? An ideal day is probably on a beach somewhere, drinking cocktails in the sun and sailing away on your yacht in the evening. That's an ideal day. So let's look at an ideal average day in your actual life. What would that genuinely look like? And if it includes si sipping cocktails on a beach, then so be it, that's fine. But actually imagine it, just close your eyes and let yourself be free with those thoughts. Because what you're doing there is you're allowing yourself to expand your potential for what you could actually create for yourself. We're so frightened of this imagination, but the imagination isn't the be all and end all. It doesn't actually mean that you're gonna do or manifest what you're seeing. 
But what we're trying to get to through what you visualize is how you feel in those moments, how you feel when you think about that ideal life that you want to live. One of my ideal life things is to live in another country, I need sunshine. I've got a pool, you know, people come and visit. I see my clients there, it's a whole thing. But the feeling is so warm. Like I can literally feel that warm feeling inside me when I visualize this place. That's what we're trying to achieve here. Just get to the feelings. Okay, now once you've done that, what you need to do next is to just jot down a couple of the things that came up for you in that vision because that's going to give you some sort of guideline as to which direction you need to go in. Maybe there are things that you could actually achieve through setting goals. Maybe there are things that are unrealistic. Maybe there are things that you need to make really big life decisions about. But at least you have an idea now of what it is that you might need to call into your life that you haven't got right this second and that's what's making you feel quite stuck. Once you've done that, those feelings that you felt in that kind of visualization, I want you to see if you can attribute them to any area of your life right now. It's very easy when we're feeling stuck and we're feeling negative and we're feeling like, oh, I need to shake things up, I need to change my life. <laughs> It's very easy for us to kind of sit in this negative wallowing and not actually push through to see if there is anything positive that's going on. And there probably is quite a bit of positivity happening in your life, but you've detached or you've never attached to those feelings. So this exercise, this second part of the exercise is to actually see if any of those feelings that you felt in the visualization resonate with anything that is currently happening in your life and if so that's what you want to be leaning into because that leaning into is kind of gratitude and abundance in the sense that you know you're really like putting out there oh i'm grateful for x y and z i'm grateful for the roof over my head the work i have the career i have the money i have the the things that i have whatever it is relationships kids etc and then what that does is because you've appreciated it, you've obviously shifted your mindset from that negative to a positive, and then you free up space to get more focused on the, what is it that I want now? What is it that I want? And it could be a shake up of your career. It could be that you need a new hobby. It could be that you might want to date other people. I mean, it could be, like I say, it could be absolutely anything. But if you don't allow yourself to really dream, to really visualize, to really just let go of what other people might think or what you're supposed to think because that's what your parents said, when you really let go of that, what you do is you connect with your true self because that's what this moment is. This moment, this crossroads moment, this moment of feeling stuck is really the moment that is telling you growth needs to occur right now. You've done really well so far, or life's been coasting along so far, but now it's time to shake things up. So shake them up. You don't have to do anything drastic. It's not that dramatic, but feel good about shaking things up. Feel good about changing certain things that are going on in your life in order to get the feelings that you need right now in your life because we change, right? We don't stay the same. We change. We're always changing as we grow, as we have different experiences, as we heal from past experiences. We are constantly changing. So if you can give yourself this beautiful gift of a little bit of time, a little bit of space to expand the way you think, to expand what possibilities could come your way, you will then start to unravel the feelings of being stuck and feeling like you have these big decisions to make. When you do that, you are gonna feel a lot more calm and I hope that you can see that it's actually easy to achieve a lot of those feelings because you probably have a lot going on for you in your life already. You don't have to necessarily chase something new. Then like I say, there might be a few tweaks to make and that's okay, like we all need tweaks, but it's probably not as massive or overwhelming as you thought, hopefully at the start of this video. So give that a go. 
Ask yourself, what do I want? Close your eyes and visualize what that actually looks like. Associate feelings, right? The second step of that is to associate feelings in that vision. What is it you are feeling when you're thinking about the things that you want so much in your life? And then the third step is to see if you can identify any of those feelings with what you currently have in your life. You probably can, wherever you can, it's kind of like double down on that. And then you've given yourself the opportunity to explore more for yourself. Just don't be afraid of exploring yourself. Don't be afraid of getting to know who you are today. You've changed. You've changed from last year, from 10 years ago, from when you started your whole adulting journey. It's okay. This is just a check-in, right? Let's, let's simplify it. This is just a check-in for where you are now in life, what you need from your life, what's important to you, what you value most, and most, most, most importantly, what you truly want. Let me know in the comments what you truly want. Was there anything that surprised you when you did the visualization? I know every time I do this visualization, something changes every time I do it. I probably do it once a month. And every time I do it, something changes. And it amazes me how much I change month to month. So let me know in the comments if there was anything for you that kind of surprised you about what you saw. And if this video was helpful, please do like and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. And I shall see you next time.